So we've been working ground the last couple days. Um, <clears throat> basically trying this thing out too a little bit. Got some new meats on her. Um, but I was having troubles the first day. I don't know if anybody caught that me talking about this thing was just starting to sputter and die and I don't know. So I uh, don't know what that was. But anyways, I was talking to the guy that worked on the tractor and he talked to a guy at a diesel shop. Uh, there's a secondary solenoid because this has um, an electronic shut off instead of a push pull cable it's electronic or whatever but this one I believe is the secondary and he said when they rebuild these pumps they there's a plunger this little guy a spring and a plunger that shuts the fuel off so suggested pulling that out pull that out and haven't had any problems so I guess if you have a 60 series and you're having problems with it shutting off, uh, just take that wire off and unscrew that and pull this thing out of there because you don't need it. See if that helps. So, but yeah, otherwise it's it's running good. Um, the planner, when I was running that, I found a couple things. I didn't like the scrapers that were on it. They were plugging up the rotary scrapers um, and then also I was getting a little too much down pressure for what I wanted so I took the original springs off the sides since I got the heavy duty ones on there now so we're gonna try it that way <clears throat> see if that helps I can always add more down pressure but it's hard I had them set as low as I go and I was still getting too much down pressure and I didn't even have that much seed in so um, in our ground anyways you can uh, get sidewall compaction pretty easy if you get too much down pressure on your row units so yeah still haven't tried out the sprayer so I don't know if all that stuff is working or not but uh, it's been too cold to put water in it so great idea to have corn in the ground huh <laughs> Oh, you talking about one, about one of them days. Oh, it's supposed to not freeze now. I still got snow in the ditches, but uh, tried to go spray earlier, and I couldn't get any GPS. I couldn't get that to work. So this is actually my other one. I got it hooked up and. I'm trying it out at home with just water. So far it worked, but now I, I shut it off and now I don't have good enough signal yet. But uh, the stuff is nice when it works. This is why I wanted to try it out a long time ago. But uh, yeah, the weather just hasn't cooperated for that. Obviously, it's uh, we got about two inches of snow doesn't dry out in the field except for where the snow is out. So. I have a real love-hate relationship with GPS. This, uh, this is actually my old Easy Guide 500. The one that I bought with the Easy Boom. The software is too old on it. It won't find the heading, basically. Uh, let's see. Your heading right here. It just shows zero on that one, so. But, I don't know, this thing's been acting up too. I don't know if it's the weather or what it is, but it, it's very unstable. So, like here, it's, it, I, I had good GPS and then all of a sudden it went to crap when I turned around. It like lost me or something, so. Yeah, it's quite annoying because now it should be able to, since it's painted this line here, it should turn them on automatically when I head across the field, once I cross it. But without the, without better signal, it kicks it out. 
Right now I'm only getting four satellites. Before I was getting six. So I don't know what the heck is going on. Like I say, this stuff is nice when it works and it's very aggravating when it doesn't. Oh wow, and just like that all of a sudden I got better. Everything's ready. Really? Really? Really. <sighs> Whatever, I guess. Be happy, right? Well, we'll try it. It's gonna go better. I know it's gonna go better. Got her loaded up. We're spraying uh, Balance Flex and Atrazine. That's all. So, well, on top it's just a little bit sticky. You just see the tires. Are, it's not bad. It's just a little damp in a couple spots. You can see probably the damp little streaks. Oh, you son of a gun. Around that damn windmill, I lose signal. Oh, I was just gonna say that this thing was behaving. Ah. Uh, but it loses signal quite easily, so. Ways to keep spraying, I guess, but I lost my steering when it does that. So, we'll get this one done, hopefully, and move on to the next one. Well, we're, uh, I don't know, 20 some acres into this field, and uh, it's actually working. going here pretty squarey so I'm gonna have to go fill up one more time and then I'm gonna then we'll be done for the night it's supposed to rain tonight and tomorrow and the next day so probably won't amount to that much but going's good right now so we're gonna get it not too many times spray in the dark, put a couple extra lights shining off to the end of the room, so I know it doesn't show up that great on the camera probably, but it's working pretty good. Well, I had to do it manually, pretty much half of that, but I got that 80 done. So, I don't know, it's 11 something at night. And the next farm I need to do is nine miles away. So, I am not going to start a new one at 11.30 at night. It'll be fine. I only got maybe, oh, I'm under 200 acres left to spray, so for corn, so, so it'll, you know, half a day I should be able to do that pretty easily, so, I got 
this field here, but, or the rest of this field, what I planted earlier. So, so yeah, I, uh, that stupid thing, I, oh, so irritating. I like having the coverage map. It's the only way I did it. I did not have guidance lines. I purely did it off of uh, the coverage map. I didn't make any video because I was trying to concentrate and not. It's hard because we Logan worked that field and there was no. You couldn't see any rows. It was just a wide open field in the dark. It's pretty ridiculous, but. As long as the coverage map was right, should should have got it covered good. So wasn't perfect, but it's pre. It's gonna get worked in. So yeah, I'm not that worried about it. So happy to have that done, anyways. And uh, get a nice half inch rain on it. And I incorporate it. And it'll work good so yeah get this thing home and uh probably should rinse it off but yeah if it's raining tomorrow i can pull it outside i might just leave it outside actually and wash it off tomorrow that's probably what i'm gonna do back in my younger years i probably would have washed the whole thing tonight but I'm gonna do that. So, I'm gonna go home and park it, put the water trailer and stuff away, go take a shower and go to bed.